one way to find out he's hungry today. Oh my god! So first up we're gonna feed our Brazilian black this cremastola polka. Locus going in. Oi! Yep. Bye then. You enjoy your locust. Next up is Snape, who's our OBT. And she's a bit of a feist one, but she's also very shy, so she is hiding behind this leaf here at the back. Here we go. Oh, she's coming. Kissing you. Go on. What are you doing? You're mating with it. Oh, she's such a beautiful spider. So next up is Nagini on Nandu Chromatis. She doesn't eat very often. She's a she's a big Big girl. I think she's quite old. Well, I think that was a no, wasn't it? See, she's in a fret pose. She's a very skittish one, this one. Apologies for the lighting, it's hard to get. Oh, she's tempted. There we go. The next spider is Aragog, who's our uh, Costa Rican curly. It's a little cat called Albert Lewis. And he is he, he's recently just matured as a male. He's hooked out, as they say, as in his grown long front legs with little hooks on so he can make the female. So to him now, food is very much a secondary concern as opposed to mating. But let's see, you never know. Oh, I suspect he'll run away. Let's see. Jim out for you just so you can get a look at him. He's very beautiful. Hello mate. His head's almost golden. Bye. Thanks for coming out. This is our biggest spider. This is Nymphadora or Tonks, who is our Lassiodora parahybana. No, you should just told it to go away. You're not hungry. There we go, I thought she would be. We might be able to tempt her with a second.
Yeah, I thought you'd have that one as well. Look at this greedy girl. Getting a bit of a happy dance. Waiting for a venom to work on those locusts to turn them into soup and then she'll spend the rest of the evening drinking them. Isn't that gross? Yeah, little spinnerets laying some silk down there. She's actually dropped them there. She's webbing them up. She's web them in a little ball so it's easier for her to, to hold them and eat them. It's like wrapping your dinner up in cellophane. Turn back around and grab them. There you go. A little shopping bag. Okay, so I'm going to freestyle here. Next is Narcissa. Here's our Alphona Palma Simani. And there she is. She's got a bit of a ball bottom. That's all right. Now she's not a very regular eater, so we'll see. I'm expecting not much to happen here. <laughs> Just kick to the side. Not hungry, thanks. Those beautiful legs. But she doesn't want to play today, so let's go to the next customer. I'll leave the locust in there, she might eat it later. So next is Lucius, Lucius who's our Checo Golden Knee, Grimostola Polkrapis. And he looks ready. Are you ready? You look ready. So I might not open that door, but I'll try and open the door next to him and we'll see what happens. Easiest doors to open. There we go. Are you going to go back if I try and open this? You come in with the door. Hmm. Okay, we'll leave that one. We'll do a one door operation. Oh, I don't like having to put my hands in it. There's only one way to find out this hallway today. Oh my god! I don't know if I got any of that on the camera, but he um, tried to climb up the tongs. <laughs> so, can I get the tongs out without getting savaged? Ooh. Another beautiful spider, you can see the golden sheen on him. And his knees and on his carapace. After the excitement of that last one, we'll now go for our giant white knee. Camphoscuria geniculata, Draco. 
and he is also looking very ready. He's also a feisty one, he likes his food, so this could be fun. And this is another very beautiful spider. You see why it's called the white knee. Now this is likely to be over very quickly. Got my leg up about there. There we go. Got the leaf as well for good measure. Bye then. So this is Minerva, our Gramostola Iherengi. And she is in Primal. So she's about to shed her skin very soon. And you can see she's got a really tatty rear end. They normally have like a little shiny patch here, but that's all come off now. And she's getting ready to molt, but it's not black underneath there. That little patch of like bare skin you see there, that will turn black when she's about to molt. Oh, that was so quick, I might not have caught that. Yeah, definitely one more for the road, she says. There's another very silky black spider, but with a lovely red bottom. So next up is Forks, our Mexican flame leg, Brachypelma bohemi. So let's see if she's hungry. She's often not much of an eater, this one. Another very beautiful spider. Look at that lovely bottom. Beautiful. She's not looking she's not looking overly interested. Half interested, more of a fret than a, than a strike. No. Not interested. Just want to sit there and look beautiful. Finally, I'm going to feed our rarest tarantula, the Italian grey shorthead tarantula. This one I'm a bit more brave, so I'm actually going to feed her by hand. That's what who you've been hearing in the background. Oh, there we go. Wow, look at that savage beast. Look at those legs. Is that good? Is that better than a locust? That's all. That's all there is. <laughs>